Ready? 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on. Man. We asked 100 men on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you like a wife who made the money? Six. Name a foreign country whose food Americans love to eat. Italy. Name the worst place for you to lose your temper. Church. Name a word that starts with cheer. Cheerleader. Name a part of your body you use when you're talking to someone. Your mouth. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, Charles. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Mm. All right, Charles, let's go. We asked 100 men on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you like a wife who made the money? You said six. Survey said. All right, name a foreign country whose food Americans love to eat. You said Italy. Survey said. place for you to lose your temper. You said church. Survey said <laughs> name a word that starts with cheer. You said cheerleader. Survey said <laughs> name a part of your body you use when you're talking to someone. You said your mouth. Survey said Charles got 161 points. Yeah. So happy. Let's focus. Pay close attention to me, okay? All right, let's remind everybody of Charles' answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, happy. We asked 100 men on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you like a wife who made the money? Eight. Name a foreign country whose food Americans love to eat. Germany. Name the worst place for you to lose your temper. At home. Name a word that starts with cheer. Leader. Try again. Tied. Name a part of your body you use when you're talking to someone. Hands. There you go. Yes. We need 39 points. We asked 100 men, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you like a wife who made the money? You said... Eight. Survey said? <laughs> Ten. Ten was the number one answer. We're 15 points away. Name a foreign country whose food Americans love to eat. You said Germany. The hell do they make? <laughs> Survey said? <laughs> Mexico. Mexico was number one. Name the worst place for you to lose your temper. You said, at home. Survey said, oh. church. Church was number one with 12 points away. Name a word that starts with cheer. You said, <laughs> cheer tide. Survey said, Cheerleader was number one. We're 12 points away. Name a part of your body you use when you're talking to someone. You said, your hands. A survey said, You ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Charles. Name a comfort food that makes you feel good until you get on the scale. Meatloaf. At what age do a lot of men look like they should be wearing a bra? 60. Tell me an activity you need a lot of wind to do. Run. If you needed money in a hurry, tell me something you would sell. Pass. Fill in the blank. Mouth blank. Mouthwash. If you need money in a hurry, tell me something you sell. <laughs> Car. Okay. Car. Cool. We got it. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. All right, let's go. Name a comfort food that makes you feel good until you get on the scale. You said 
meatloaf survey said. <laughs> yeah. At what age do a lot of men look like they should be wearing a bra? You said 60. That's disheartening. Survey said. <laughs> Tell me an activity you need a lot of wind to do. You said run. Survey said. If you needed money in a hurry, tell me something you'd sell. You said, your car, survey said. <laughs> Fill in the blank, mouth blank. You said, mouth wash, survey said. Happy? We need you this time, man. Yeah, we need you, man. You got to show up. He did great, though. He got 112. You need 88. Okay. Yeah. You got to focus to get this 88. So come on, Happy. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Charles' answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Happy. Focus for me. Name a comfort food that makes you feel good until you get on the scale. Chocolate. At what age do a lot of men look like they should be wearing a bra? 55. Name an activity you need a lot of wind to do. Sell. If you needed money in a hurry, tell me something you'd sell. Golf clubs. Fill in the blank, mouth blank. Harp. Come on, Happy. We need 88 points. Name a comfort food that makes you feel good until you get on the scale. You said chocolate. Survey said ice cream. Ice cream was number one. We need 72. What age do a lot of men look like they should be wearing a bra? You said 55. Survey said 60. 60 was the number one answer. 67 away. Tell me an activity you need a lot of wind to do. You said sail. That's a great answer. Survey said I like that. I like that answer better than running. I do. I do too. Yeah, I like that. Number one answer, fly a kite. Fly a kite. 49 away. If you needed money in a hurry, tell me, <laughs> tell me something you'd sell. You said what every woman has. <laughs> Set a golf club. Survey said. <laughs> Jewelry watch. Jewelry and watch. 49 away. Fill in the blank. <laughs> mouth blank. You said. <laughs> mouth harp. <laughs> Survey said. It's okay. Mouth watch. Mouth watch is number one. They got five bucks a point, 755. But that gives them a two-day total, 20755 bucks, And they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. All right, Jeff. You ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. How much money would it take for you to give up your seat on an overbooked plane? $2,000. What does a woman treat better than her own husband? Her dog. What color is most of the food you eat? Green. Name something people have professionally cleaned. Their house. Give me a word that rhymes with musk. Dusk. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, darling, let's see. How much money would it take for you to give up your seat on an overbooked plane? You said $2,000. Survey said. What does a woman treat better than her own husband? You said, a dog, survey said. <laughs> what color is most of the food you eat? You said, green, survey said. <laughs> Name something people have professionally cleaned. You said, your house, survey said. <laughs> Give me a word that rhymes with musk. You said, Dusk, survey said. There you go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Chris, let's go. All right, Chris, Brianna did pretty good. She got 110. You need 90. You ready? All right. All right, yes, let's sir. remind everybody of Brianna's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. How much money would it take for you to give up your seat on an overbooked plane? 20,000. <laughs> what, what does a woman treat better than her husband? Her pets. Try again. Her jewelry. What color is most of the food you eat? Red. Name something people have professionally cleaned. Their clothes. Give me a word that rhymes with musk. Dusk. Uh -huh. Try again. Um, pass. No, no pass. Oh. Well, oh, I was pulling for you, man. Mm. Uh, all right, how much money would it take for you to give up your seat on an overbooked plane? You said 20,000. <laughs> Survey said 1,000 was the number one answer. What does a woman treat better than her own husband? You said jewelry. Survey said pet. Pet was the number one answer. What color is most of the food you eat? You're a man. You said red. That would be meat. Survey said Green, green was the number one answer. Name something people have professionally clean. You said their clothes, survey said. <laughs> carpet, carpet and rug was number one. We need a big one. <laughs> Give me a word that rhymes with musk. <laughs> number one answer was tusk. Yep. Tusk. <laughs> All right, buddy. Five dollars a point, 790 bucks. They got a three day total. 21,545 bucks, and they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. You ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 married women. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good a kisser is your husband? 10. Name a word that rhymes with pickle. Dickle. Name a household chore that burns a lot of calories. Vacuuming. Name something you should do in moderation or you'll sorry, you, name something you should do in moderation or you'll be sorry later. Uh, I don't know, pass. Name someone who blows on the whistle. Okay, let me read this one again, because I bobbled that. Let me read, this is the one I bobbled. Name something you should do in moderation or you'll be sorry later. Eat. We asked 100 married women on a scale of 1 to 10, how good a kiss is your husband? You said 10. Survey said? <laughs> Name a word that rhymes with pickle. You said dickle. <laughs> it's, it's very popular terms. You just say it all the time. Survey said? <laughs> Name a household chore that burns a lot of calories. You said vacuum. Survey said? Yeah! Name something you should do in moderation or you'll be sorry later. You said, eat. Survey said, yeah! name someone who blows on the whistle. That's okay, you did good. That's one thing. Let's go, Charles. All right, Charles, Teresa did pretty good. She got you better than halfway there. She got 113. Yes. You need 87. <laughs> Come on, Charles, we can do it. You know how to play. Let's go. Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Teresa's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 married women on a scale of 1 to 10, how good a kisser is your husband? 10. Try uh -huh. again. 9. Name a word that rhymes with pickle. Tickle. Name a household chore that burns a lot of calories. Vacuuming. Uh -huh. Try again. Washing dishes. Name something you should do in moderation or you'll be sorry later. Exercise. Name someone who blows on a whistle. Referee. Come on. <laughs> Take a shot. We need 87 points. It's a lot big one. Let's go.
Scale, we asked 100 married women. Scale of one to 10, how good a kiss is your husband? You said. Nine. Survey set. Okay. 10, 10 was the number one answer. Yeah. 72 points away. Name a word that rhymes with pickle. You said. Tickle. Survey said. Nickel. Nickel was the number one answer. Okay. 45 points away. Name a household chore that burns a lot of calories. You said washing dishes. Survey said oh. vacuuming was number yes. one. He's still 45 points away. Name something you should do in moderation or you'll be sorry later. You said exercise. Survey said Wow. Drink. drink. Drink was number one. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need a big one. Name someone who blows on a whistle. You said... Referee. Mm -hmm. Survey said... Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh! Referee was the number one answer. Well, they got up. 985 bucks. Four day total, 22,530 bucks. And remember, the Meek family is coming back for a chance to drive away in a brand new car. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. <laughs> family, here's the situation. Three answers on the board. If either answer's there, your family steals, your family wins the game. But if it's not there, the Mink family wins the game and drives out of here in a brand new car. We asked 100 single women, fill in the blank. I'm looking for a calendar of hot guys holding what? Steve, we're gonna go with holding themselves. Woo! <laughs> themselves Ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Charles. Let's go, man. We asked 100 men, if a fight breaks out in a bar, what would you do? Fight two. Name a kind of animal that lives in trees. Monkey. At what age is a kid most out of control? Seven. Name something you might look for when the electricity fails. Flashlight. A good friend might tell you to get a what? Life. All right, let's go. We ask 100 men if a fight breaks out in the bar, what do you do? You said, Big Charles jump in and get with it too. Survey said, <laughs> Name a kind of animal that lives in trees. You said, Monkey. Survey said, <laughs> At what age is a kid most out of control? You said, Seven. Survey said, Name something you might look for when electricity fails. You said... Flashlight. Survey said... Yeah. A good friend might tell you to get a what? You said... Get a life. Survey said... There you go. Happy, 
one of the most popular players of all time. Yeah, baby. Now, Happy, you ain't gonna believe this. You came out here first. You guys won 20000 They bought you back for your final shot. This is very similar to what happened before. Charles got 157 points. Yeah. You ready? Okay. All right, let's remind everybody of Charles' answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Happy. We asked 100 men, if a fight breaks out in a bar, what would you do? Hide. Name a kind of animal that lives in trees. Chimpanzee. At what age is a kid most out of control? 17. Name something you might look for when the electricity fails. Flashlight. Try again. <laughs> Candle. A good friend might tell you to get a what? Life. <laughs> Try again. Wife. <laughs> now, you said chimpanzee for the second one but you got to try again because that's the same answer he gave. So listen to me closely. Don't rush. Take your time. Name a kind of animal that lives in trees. Birds. Give <laughs> <laughs> me 43 points. And we could put $20,000 more dollars in the trunk of that brand new car. And you, my friend, are going on a cruise with the wife. Disney cruise. Adult section only. <laughs> Let's go. We asked 100 men. If a fight breaks out in the bar, what would you do? You said... <laughs> <laughs> I'm little. <laughs> Happy say, I'm little. I'm hiding. <laughs> Survey said... <laughs> oh. Leave, walk away. walk away. Number one answer. 43 point. Name a kind of animal that lives in trees. You said... Bird, good answer, Happy. Survey said... Yeah! Squirrel. Squirrel was number one. We're 18 away. At what age is the kid most out of control? You said... 17. That'll probably be better than seven. Survey said... 16. 16 was the number one answer. Name something you might look for when the electricity fails. You said... A candle. Survey says... Yeah! Come on, Happy! Flashlight was number one. Life was number one. Glad he got that one.